Hello, eighth graders. Welcome to week four, lesson one. I have had my coffee, probably too much coffee. I am ready to go. I hope you are too. We are in topic seven, lesson one, and on textbook page 346. Okay, let's start with a quiz. What happens to the sun energy that is absorbed into the surface? Does it A, stays forever? Does it B, gets absorbed into Earth's core? C, it transforms into visible light, or D, some gets released back into the atmosphere. Take five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to eliminate some answers. First one, uh, we didn't talk about Earth's core, so if we didn't talk about it, that's the first option I usually eliminate. Next, it stays forever. Mm, nope, definitely not. Uh, hopefully you remember that from last lesson so we're in between c and d correct answer is some gets released back into the atmosphere remember we talked about if you go to a beach at night and the rocks and the sand feel warm that's because even when the sun is down the earth releases some of that heat so that it can leave the earth all right i have a question for you today and it's have you ever been to a greenhouse so a greenhouse is a building made of glass that lets sunlight inside. If you've ever been to the botanical gardens in Lackawanna, that is a greenhouse. So maybe you've been there for a field trip. It's a beautiful place that's considered a greenhouse. The first thing you notice when you walk inside besides the beautiful plants is that it's warm. So a greenhouse, if you've never been, it kind of acts like a, sh a really hot shower. If you start your shower, close the window, shut the door, leave it for a few minutes, come back, you're going to notice that that room is much, much warmer. So how exactly does a greenhouse work? I told you that if you walk in a greenhouse, immediately you're going to feel that the temperature is warmer. So how does this happen? Well, living things produce heat, even plants. Sometimes I think we forget that plants are living organisms, but we can't forget that because they're really important. So what a greenhouse will do is it'll trap the heat that is produced by plants into the greenhouse. And remember, it's still letting sunlight in because it's made of glass, but it's keeping the heat inside. And what this does is the trap heat creates a temperature for growing. So a cool thing about a greenhouse is that you can grow tropical plants that maybe would not grow in New York, but since that greenhouse is trapping heat, they can grow like they would in, I don't know, uh, uh, environment near the equator or someplace warm. It also helps extend the growing season so you can grow produce like vegetables and fruit in the wintertime. Okay, so why did I suddenly become obsessed with greenhouses? Uh, there's a, actually I love greenhouses. No shame in my game. I would be obsessed with greenhouses even if I wasn't teaching this lesson because I think plants are cool. But anyways, we are learning about the greenhouse effect on earth, huh? So I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert. It's not super great right now and we're gonna learn exactly what it is and what are some problems that we are having with it today. So Earth's atmosphere actually acts like a greenhouse. What do I mean? Well, sunlight is absorbed onto Earth's surface. We know that from our previous lesson. Organisms or living things release heat. I just taught you that a couple slides ago. Earth's surface releases heat. Yeah, yeah, I know that from last lesson. And what's going to happen is the atmosphere is going to kind of help keep some of that heat in. Um, and so it's going to be this really nice balance of, you know, the atmosphere keeping some heat in, um, the sunlight getting absorbed, and Earth releasing some of that heat back out. So we've got, we got heat kept, we've got heat released, and it's just this really beautiful balance. So this is known as the greenhouse effect. So this is good because just like a, a greenhouse would do, the trapped heat from that atmosphere trapping in some of the heat creates a good temperature for living things. Okay, so we are adapted as are most organisms on Earth to live in a specific temperature. So it can't really get that much colder and it shouldn't really get that much 
hotter because over millions of years of evolution, this is the temperature that we like to live in. And for most of history, the sea level, so literally how much water and the height of the water in the sea and glaciers have remained the same. Okay, so we've got these big sheets of ice um, throughout history. We have constant sea levels throughout history and cool, balance, happy, happy. But unfortunately, along come humans, don, 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 and we are kind of messing this up currently. All right, so here's a problem with Earth's greenhouse effect. So it is perfect if we don't mess with it. But the problem is, since industrialization, that's when, you know, uh, everybody started shifting towards factories and mass production, humans have changed the gases of the atmosphere. Specifically, we have increased the amount of carbon dioxide from gas for our cars, oil, factories, and methane. So we released methane, it's another type of gas, from coal, from landfills, and from cows farting. And I know that sounds super silly, because like, whatever, we all fart, okay? But um, think about how many people like to eat meat, myself included, um, how many people drink milk, and how many cows we have. That's a lot of cows. That's a lot of cows farting. Um, and so like, I love a good burger. I love a good steak, but I have tried really, really hard to cut down my red meat consumption, um, because I don't want to contribute to methane. So it's hard, but it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make to try to decrease these gases that we're putting into the atmosphere. And why? Because this results in climate change due to warm temp warmer temperatures. And so what happens is uh, places are becoming hotter and wetter. So we have more storms, more flooding. Also, we're melting polar ice that increases the sea level, which is one of the reasons that we have flooding. So, you know, there's been a lot of issues with global warming and um, it's a big issue that you guys really need to think about. You know, what can you do? Well, when you become old enough to vote, make sure that you are voting for leaders who actually care about this and want to take positive steps to help stop it. All right, we're at the end. So what statement best describes the greenhouse effect? Is it A, gas cools down Earth. Does that describe the greenhouse effect? B, gas traps all of the sun's heat. C, some of the heat escapes while other gases trap the heat. Or D, cows fart. All right, I'm going to eliminate D because it's too silly, but true, but silly. <laughs> And I'm going to eliminate A because right now the earth is not cooling down. If anything, it is warming up. So I'll give you five seconds to choose between B and C. Five, four, three, two, one. Correct answer is some of the heat escapes while the gases in the atmosphere trap the heat. Remember, the greenhouse effect is this really nice balance of some heat escaping, some heat being trapped. Um, and the issue is when humans come in, we kind of screw that up. All right, guys, that's it for today. I am definitely going to go back to work uh, and not watch TV. So I hope you guys are safe and healthy and I will see you tomorrow.